Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pathfinder Kingmaker. I know you're probably wondering why we are back in the trading post. We went and built our final character finally. Um, sort of sort of in line with one of, the, or one of the suggestions from one of the videos, but I couldn't make the Halfling or Gnome work just in terms of strength. Um, we did get a human, Barbarian, Armored Hulk is the subclass. She's level 3, she uses Great Axes. We're going to use her to, one, help carry a loot, because we desperately needed another high level, or high strength character. Oh yeah, there's supposed to be some sort of bag of holding I'm supposed to buy here. Might as well do that while I'm around. We also rested while we were here. A bag of holding. Built a giant strength, that's kind of nice, but not a bag of holding. Just rolls and junk. Okay, let's go with... Usable? Nope, not there. Accessories, maybe. No bag of holding. They have full plate here? I might pick up a full plate, or... Well, one, because there's only one. Full plate is really, really good, and we could definitely use it at this point of the game. Nothing else. Weapons. I do kind of want weapons too, though. Like, a plus one earthbreaker would be kind of amazing, but they don't have any. Do they have a masterwork earthbreaker, though? Yes. If that gives us plus one to hit, it might be worthwhile picking one up. In fact, it might be worthwhile picking up several types of weapons, like an earthbreaker, a... Great Axe. Both of those will become obsolete the moment that we find a plus one version, but for now it might help out our melee a little bit. We're gonna sell some stuff too. So, all of this junk. And all of this junk. And that ring. We're still paying him a ton of money. Keeping that ring of protection and equipping it. Bracers of armor are not all that useful. I know it'll give our wizard one extra armor. But here's the thing. Don't care. It's not enough armor to worry about. We're not going to use this old iron dagger. Actually, we're not going to use the dueling sword. It is a exotic weapon proficiency type thing. It's actually... You'd have to specifically go out of your way to use it. So... A cold iron dagger, there's one fight where I need a cold iron weapon, I know. So that might have to be useful for that part. Alright, we're gonna also pick up that armor, I think. At least one full plate. We can't afford the full plate plus one, it's way too expensive. We could also get a half plate, it's not as good, but it's only one worse. So, there. Let's swap out some things. So the people who are going to be using the full plate are going to be obviously, or the half plate at least, is going to be our Barbarian. So that gives her a good amount of armor. Doesn't look any different, which is kind of sad, but whatever. And then we will level these characters up when we actually put them into our government properly. Gives us an extra two armor. We look pretty kind of awesome actually right now. We have our full plate on. And I think that's pretty much going to be it. We need to equip our new Earthbreaker. So we just have a normal Earthbreaker. If we put it on, we get plus one to hit. So that's pretty good. Same thing with the Great Axe, of course. Plus nine now. I'm I actually think our... Temper. Barbarian has a better chance to hit than we do. Which is sad. Also, we are very heavy. We do need to sell some of this, like, banded mail and the scale are Actually, banded mail we'll keep, because I think we can give that to somebody. Like, perhaps our cleric, who I think has heavy armor proficiency. And now has 19 armor. So, yeah. We'll sell this off. And... That puts us at 259 pounds, which shouldn't be too bad. Who's going to use this other ring of protection, though? Probably our monk. She already has one. Does our main character have one? 
Uh, yes, technically. So we're going to give it to our newcomer to our group. I know she looks like a half-orc in the picture, but it was the closest picture I could find, and it she's human, though, so just keep that in mind. Now it's time to leave. Time to get back to the tree. We have our full group now. I know people suggested sorcerers or, um, like eldritch archers type, or like, um, ranged mages and stuff like that. The thing about that is, we need the strength. Um, there's really no way we're going to be able to carry any amount of loot if we don't have a high strength group. It's an amalgamation of all your characters' carrying capacity, and that's why I'm giving strength to things like sorcerers, which is stupid. Sorcerers never need strength, technically. There are rare situations where you can make melee sorcerers, but largely you never ever need to... Why are you at such low life? I'm gonna have to heal him. We'll fight. Whatever. Um, but almost never, you almost never need to give a sorcerer strength. I'm going to leave my mage back, so he doesn't get killed. Stand with me. Where's the rest of them? It's usually an ambush. Alright. Everything is coming together. Again, we have to be careful what we pick up. There are things that are worthless, and that is most things. So our total carrying capacity for medium load is 385 pounds. Medium is a fine place to be. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, ideally, you want to be traveling with a light load, but that's just not feasible sometimes. Oops. It's weird when it gets to heavy that it's a very big problem. So we have a good amount of buffer room between our medium and heavy loads, so we should be okay. I really need to dump a heal into our mage, though. Our group is pretty melee heavy, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on the way you look at it. If we get a cart and horse later in the game, or stuff like that, we might replace her with a different character that's more capable falter. of helping heal and stuff like that. But for now, our group is going to have to be something along these lines. Let's go wander around, kill more mites. There is a quest we can do in this area before even going down into the tree, which does seem like a good idea to me. How is our experience doing? So we have about 2300 or so XP to level on our main character, and the rest are relatively similar, except for our new characters at 4. So we're going to have a little bit of a staggered level up session. Now, while I say that we do have a very melee heavy group, we also have a very heavy damage group. Um, like, if you look, the Earth... If we look at our characters really quickly, she does 10 to 21 damage a hit, and plus 8 to hit at level 3 is not too bad. 11 to 21, plus 8 to hit again. Um, plus 5 to hit isn't great, but he's a cleric slash crusader, so we had to keep his strength a little bit lower. Um, plus 8 to hit's really good as well. Seven and well, plus no one's expecting the sorcerer to shoot things well. He's all about magic, and he will get very good at magic later on in the game. But yeah, so we have a fairly. We're going to have a very a fairly powerful group, especially once we get a certain search. longbow for our rogue later on. That she will be one of our largest DPS. We'll also get her rapid shot when we get that because it's very Check useful to have. Out. Are these guys not fighting anymore? Is that? They've given up their war. Well, I'm gonna take their potatoes and gold and stuff. Onwards. There's a corpse up here. Quick save. There are also tassel worms which shoot lightning. We don't need that leather, but we do need the bro or the broken arrow, the fragment, the crumpled letter, and we will grab the money. We'll read the letter in a sec. Let's kill the tassel worms first. This strength, my masterpiece. All right.
Also, we got uh, Toughness for our Barbarian, so she has lots of life. At level 3, she has 40 hit points, and that's pretty good. 37 on him, 24 isn't great, 28 is pretty good, and so on. I lead, you follow. Our wizard will never have, or sorcerer, I should say. He's a wizard, never mind, he's a wizard. Our wizard will never have amazing hit points, but he will have decent hit points. Now, this area sucks. I don't think we're going to be able to do this fight yet, but we're going to take a look anyways. That just wake them all up. I, spy? What do I, time spy? Has come. I think that wakes them all up. It does. We do it my Which is why we should load the quick save. The good old quick save. Yes, it's saves coming. This game's difficulty curve requires saves coming at the moment. When they fix it in the future, then we won't save scum as much, but the one attempt to claim things and we shall annoyingly overcome. powerful monsters. Make it save scum central. I really like our new barbarian. Actually, she does pretty well. That's a terrible attack roll. That was also our rogue, so. Or no, that was our monk, sorry. Not our rogue. Okay, let's try this again. We'll quick save here. It's possible we can do this fight, it's just not probable. Isn't there another trap like right here? Shall we move? I am never we shall wrong. Move. Anybody else want to weigh in on this upcoming trap? I'll take care of it. It's time to act. It's right. I knew it was right there. Come on. Come on, perception rolls. I guess we could. We don't have detect traps or anything like that. I don't think in terms of spells. Check that out. There we go. Now we can see it. I thought there was still one here, though. What is the DC on these traps? A trivial task. DC 18, so we need an 8 or above to get it. That's not so bad. Just over 50%. That was easy. I feel like there's still one more trap here somewhere. Interesting. There's one there. The reason you want to take out these traps instead of blindly going in and blowing up is uh, they're sleeping at the moment and you can catch them off guard, which does tend to help in the whole not dying I'm thing. Ready. This group is actually quite difficult Ugh, to kill. What a failure. Impossible. Impossible. Oh come on. Ugh, what a failure. What are you rolling? A trivial task. It wasn't trivial, it took you like five temps. Okay, so there are four enemies here, a necromancer and three unnamed bandits. Everyone is mortal in this world. They are quite dangerous. Um, so, I'm not exactly sure the best way to do this fight. I think one person on the Necromancer is good I enough. See this through. I am never wrong. And I don't think that bandit's very important to kill. This guy is very is important to kill as fast I'll as possible. He is not I'll at all a friendly person. Why are you are down here? I stand ready. Let's shake a leg. Okay, so we need to get some buffs out. First of all, there's no guarantee we're gonna win this fight. By the way, there's a chance we'll win this fight. Our time has come. Oh good, it doesn't affect them anymore. It used to, uh, Bless used to affect the enemies, so that was never a good thing. Alright, moment of truth. I'll take the bait. We killed their 
Necromancer in a single hit. That was a good start. Oh, we got this covered. This is much easier with a optimized group. <laughs> oh, that was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'll take the Masterwork Sword and the Light Crossbow and the Bracers. And that Composite Bow. That protection. And all the potions. Potions are usually cost effective to cart around. And so is chocolate. Surprisingly, chocolate is worth a fortune. And the flower is surprisingly good too. A breastplate will not really help anyone in our group, so good enough. Although there's still more loot to grab. So there we go. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. We'll take their milk as well. That wasn't the quest we were going to do. That was just a side distraction. It was a distraction, that's what it was. Also, enlarged with bold strength, we have plus 11 to hit. Our strength is what, 25? Yeah. 25. That's a lot of strength. There's something here. So go get it. It seems like the kobolds have won the outside for the mo- Oh, nope. Now they're back to fighting again. Get some free experience from killing the mites. What do we got? Nothing really good. Just a couple little things. Okay. Trinkets, really. We do it my way. And now we go all the way around because we have to do the quest. The quest is up here. We were almost there before. Maybe I should have picked it up. Oh well. Too late now. How's our weight doing? We're actually on light ca Oh, because we have massive strength increases right now. Once bull strength wears off and um, enlarged person our carrying capacity will go down to more realistic levels. Onwards. Currently we can carry at heavy load almost 2,000 pounds worth of gear, or a little over 2,000 pounds worth of gear. That is a lot of gear. I'm so happy we killed that group though, that was super duper easy, way easier than I anticipated it being. You Let's just do a couple channels. And we've already lost some large person. Bull strength will wane pretty soon too. And we're gonna go back to our normal strength at 19. We do it my way. We're talking to Grarok. The beast before you is unusually large, and its eyes, especially angry. Its menacing grin might almost be taken for a smirk. Regents Traveler, before you draw your weapon, I wish to say, I see no reason for feuding between us. We might even be of some use to each other. You say we could be useful to each other. Bring me someone delicious. Three or four bodies will be enough, and I, as a sign of gratitude, will tell you where an old traveler buried his chest. Fine. Critting the war looks straight at you. Deal. I await your return. I have to go. We have to go find something to feed him, and I know exactly where to do it. The warg wants some food. So wargs are wolves that are intelligence, basically. They're like greater wolves that have some pretty significant intelligence levels. They're able to talk. They're able to think strategically. They're actually basically almost human in intelligence. I think they might even be smarter than humans on average. I'd have to check into that though. I can't give a definitive answer on that one. But here is where we need to go. A kobold lying in the middle of the patch calls out to you. Judging by the sorry state of his scales, he's the eldest of the group. His red eyes squint from the light and his throat struggles to form words. Our patch, our celestial radish. I'm gonna point towards the wargs lair. I just saw mountains of the same radishes right over there. The kobolds stare at you in awe, then look to each other, whispering. Finally, their leader raises his hand, and they all fall silent. Strange rumor, the celestial radishes only grows here. 
It was always, we check, send scout. However, there is nobody listening to the Elder Kobold. The others are already moving in the direction he pointed, alone, or tightly hugging in pairs. Stop! Stop, traitor! You guys go have fun. I'm gonna steal these radishes while I'm here. Oh, we got the moon radishes. Okay. That's for Bakken's quest, by the way. If you recall, we need to get it, or we needed to get him moon radishes and those fang berries. We got him the fang berries already. What is that thing? Oh, it's a shambling mound. It's a little early in the game to be fighting a shambling mound, isn't it? Maybe? Let's find out. Off to a good start. Blank. Blanking people. We can do it. There we go. With all your might. It's injured. So are we. Uh, we'll be fine. We won't be fine. It does a lot of damage. Maybe we needed buffs for this fight. We don't have any more buff spells though. What is the chance to hit this thing? Armor class 19. We have like a 50% chance. A little under 50%. 45% chance to hit. We have two actual dead people, though. Let's not fight the Shambling Mound just yet. One more level. Should be fine. We'll come back for it. Or after we rest and get some buff spells back. Because I think with Bless and all the enlarged person and stuff, we could win pretty easily. We unfortunately do not have those spells available at the moment. We've cast them all already. Hmm. Let's go tell the warg his meal. Actually, his meal's already been there, and promptly got eaten. But it's time for our reward. Truth be told, I should thank you. Finally a decent meal. It's a pleasure to deal with you. The chest is buried under a lonely tree to the west. And also we got 180 experience, which is almost better than the tree loot. Is this tree here? I'm pretty sure. Yep. That looks right. There's a solid chance that someone's going to die while opening it. And then it's finally time to go into the tree itself. Is that an actual treasure up there? What is that? Oh, that's where we dropped all that crappy gear that we weren't going to carry back to base. Right. I recall now. Unfortunately, we won't be able to do the Might Skull side quest, I don't think, because we didn't align with the Mites. Which is sad, but understandable. Interesting. Very chess. Athletic 16. Should be no problem. It is done. 13 experience for digging that bad boy up. And then... Ah! What is the... DC of that? 26. Oh, that's a, that's a saving throw. Uh, Where's the trap detection thing? It doesn't tell me what the DC for the trap was. Oh, maybe I didn't know it was the trap. Maybe that's why it blew me up. We have to notice the trap first. Smart. Okay, we'll try that. And then I'm gonna go get some dinner because I am starving. I'll make my own legend. I'll take care I of it. Stand ready. Does nobody notice the trap? I tire of waiting. Hmm. Okay. I will not falter. I don't even know if we can I notice the trap. No, I can't. Too dangerous. Well, then I insisted, but, but I should. I need that to survive. Okay, who's got the highest force save? We should agree to do it. Oh, it's so Four, hard seven, to decide whether to have breakfast or not. Five. So seven. I'm losing. <laughs> He's fine. Everything's alright. He got a condition though, what is it? 
Nice. All right, we can go back to town and heal that, but right side, we can open the chest now. It's locked. So we got Death's Door. This My thing. So we get a helmet and two scrolls. The scrolls are actually quite good. Slay Living and Scroll of False Life Greater. But the amulet thing is worth a fortune, but it's a channel of lesser er, of negative channeling. So when we channel negatively, we can deal damage to creatures, to heal living creatures, or heal undead. Um, we don't have anyone that negatively channels though, so... It's gonna be fine. We're gonna rest. It's not gonna get rid of Death's Door. But it'll be fine for now. Uh, let's go with manage, use rations, because I want to get rid of some. You no longer have to do hunting. You can do guard duty. And you are going to go along hunting. Okay. We do have one guard. We were attacked while hunting by a tassel worm. We can do it! Back to camp. We're not in combat anymore, it's fine. Finger of Death, tough spell. We got four rations, which means we only needed to use two. And we had a good meal. Surprisingly, everything worked out pretty well on that rest. We have to watch this character though. If he goes, if he dies again, he actually physically dies. Yeah. Luckily he's got 37 health, so he should be, fingers crossed, okay for the rest of this trip. If not, we can always run back to the capital, or not the capital, the trading post, and rest him up. Into the tree we go. Time to go kill some mites. Mites are luckily fairly easy opponents. There's not too many of them that are a big deal. Did I not pick these up? Oh no, those are in my inventory. I'm dropping those on the ground now. Do I have anything of value to grab? Nope. Ugh, I hate that. I always forget to hit leave. I always just hit escape, thinking that escape will just be like, leave everything behind, but that is not what it does. Not even a little bit. Do we have a bestiary? I should look into that. They've increased the light in here. That's very, very nice of them, because it was insanely dark in here before. Actually. We yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to do any of the quests in here. For the mites, anyways. Uh, just get that one. Goodbye, gatekeeper. Uh, so we're going to have to watch out for... damage. Uh, like, stat damage. That we're going to get from... A lot of things. Master of Sickle. And a bridge hoist part. We needed that for... That's what we would have gotten for one of the quests that we had to do for him. Unfortunately, he is now a corpse, so therefore... He's not going to be able to give us that quest anymore. Why are my... Melee... Guys so bad at actually hitting things? Like my guys with my huge weapons. Also, the next swarm we fight, I have to try something. Someone suggested using a torch on the swarms. I don't know if that works, but I'm going to look into it. Kind of really curious, actually. Oh, this is where the giant one is. This nope, never mind. This is just more mites. The life ends here. We can do it. That's a spellcaster. Uh, you, Jade Maul, go after the spellcaster. It's always good to get rid of the spellcasters as fast as possible before they cast nasty spells at you, like fear or blind. What did it cast? What is that? Or will saving, whatever it is. Okay, there's a chest. It could be locked. 
It's not. But it could have been. Is that a bag? Can we use bags in this game? Where's the bag? Why are we carting around leather armor? Drop. Oh, it's a silver statuette. They didn't want to make an actual silver statuette, so it looks like a pouch. I understand. Ah, a test of my ability. So far, we've only gotten the one dex damage. We've actually been doing really good on our rolls while we're in here. It's kind of weird. We're used to dying a whole bunch, but we're at half an hour, so we're going to end the video here. In the next video, we'll continue on through the tree. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time.